I watched your movie uh, with Christopher Hitchens. How are you able to get into such a heated debate with him and yet uh, maintain such kindness and love towards him? So somebody wanted to punch him. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, th there's a couple of things uh, I'll, I'll say. First, Christopher Hitchens um, it is sometimes his confrontational public rudeness is a it's it's a very clear calculated tactic mm -hmm. to throw people off and to get rock them back on their heels. And one of the things I wanted to do is not let that work. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, just ignore it and and not let that work. The second thing is this um, it doesn't have to do with Christopher so much. This is something I learned from my dad where he he said that the point of apologetics, the point of debate, the point of evangelism is to win the person, not to win the argument. Now, if you're debating at all, there, then the argument has some sort of relation to this. You've got to follow the argument and you've got to engage with the argument, but you must never fall into the trap of thinking that winning the argument is the same thing as winning the person. Right. Um, there are cult buster truth emphasis ministries that it's all like Mr. Spock logic chopping. Uh -huh. And they, they run the argument out and they, yeah, they're manifestly right. But they are missing what the, what the study of rhetoric teaches us, which is that it's not just logos, there's also ethos and pathos. And what good does it do if your logic is sound, uh, if your logic is sound, if your argument is valid, and everything up there is true, and you lost uh, the, you lost the audience and the person mm -hmm. uh, because everybody said, well, if that's truth, I don't want to have anything to do with it right? because that, it's, ugly. Uh, it's ugly. 